All right, so what better way to get a server build started than with a nice little unboxing? And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing because I really want to get into this server build. Now, if it looks a little lopsided, well, apparently the little legs on it broke. And you can kind of feel that they feel a little cheap. I'm not going to worry about this. I planned on modding the case anyways, and I'll just put something better on it. But for a hundred bucks, I really can't complain. It's a solid case. Now when I say solid, it's a nice steel chassis, and it's modular, which means I can put fans anywhere and everywhere I want to on this case. Now a little disappointing factor about this is I thought these little top brackets, which would hold fans, could be put down here to hold the motherboard in place. And in order for me to do that, I would have to make brackets for these brackets, because these are shorter than this slot down here. It's unfortunate, but it's not a deal breaker. Now, I do plan on upgrading these fans. It came with two 120s, and I'm not satisfied with that, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to upgrade to 200 millimeter in the front, two or three 140 millimeters in the top. And I briefly mentioned the feet. It's not an issue. I have other feet laying around. So these would be much, much better quality to hold this thing into place and not have to worry about them breaking later down the road. Now to go over the motherboard a little bit, I paid $35 for this motherboard on eBay. And it was $15 shipping and handling. But at the same time, I got both e E5540s for only $10. So that's great. Free shipping and handling on them as well. And I went with 48 gigs of registered memory that I picked up for another $80. So far, this is turning into a, a pretty cheap server build. I mean, you you look at the prices of servers nowadays, and you know, you're in the eight, nine, $1,000 range, and that's a lot of money money I don't have to spend so if you like this or you're not too sure about my hillbilly way of building a server uh, you can check out another link that I'll put in the description uh, there's another guy who's doing the exact same motherboard build but he's doing a free NAS server and he's actually doing his own custom case from what I understand I encourage anybody to go ahead and check the him out, and I'll get back to you guys when I uh, get this server all together. Take care.